And welcome everyone to the Vamp Show. Hello, 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 one hello all. Okay, so yesterday we, uh, if you're in the members area, right, if you're in the members area yesterday, you got a uh, very nice little uh, surprise over here. What do we got? We got our uh, Vamps. So yesterday... We were do 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 we were eh where was it? Uh boop boop alright, so yesterday I opened up a short at the very tippy top of this, right? And it was funny because I, I opened it up all the way here at the tippy top of this wave E. I swear to you, I put in a short at 40, uh, 40, like 54 or 40, 45, and it missed. It missed. I literally missed it by like a few little teeny tiny points. I was so upset. So I got in this 3951. Uh, and then I, I literally must have missed this thing by like five five points. I mean, it couldn't have been any more than five points I missed this thing. So I did load that up there. And, uh, you know, I did load that up there. So it was pretty nice. Um, it was good. It was really good. Uh, you know, I, I did catch that. So I did catch that from the top right up here. And literally all the way up here to the tippy top. And I just missed it. Look at that. 4035 is where that baby capped out. Little bit big sad face about that. Uh, yes, Dave. Uh, that was It's like chart porn hub, right? That's what that is right there. Chart porn hub. Uh, yeah, I was a little bit bummed about that. But uh, uh, anyways, let's move on. So all I ask everybody, this is completely free. I do this every single day. Oh my God, I sit here on my computer for sometimes 12, 16 hours when the sky is falling just to make sure everybody is safe. All I ever ask from you guys, please, 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 it's just this simple. Come down, hit the share button. <gasps> wow, yes, I finally broke 5,000 subscribers, man. All this content, I am by far the most accurate channel in crypto, the most accurate 24-hour live stream. And it, this is so funny because the other day, one of the somebody in the chat says to me, they said, uh, they said, man, this is great, man. I appreciate you doing that. And you know, it's funny because... You know, when I first started uh, crypto, I used to have to be up here on Twitter like you guys, or I was in a paid group, right? And I used to have to wait for people to post. Wait, oh my God, my TA guy, what's he, when's he going to post? Why is he sleeping? Who needs to sleep? Screw that guy, right? So I'd sit there and I'd wait for every single post. And as soon as he posts, I'd get that notification and I'd open it up and I'd make my trade, right? Well, you know what? This is the greatest thing about this channel is you never have to wait for anyone. You never, ever, ever have to wait for anyone. You can log on right away. You can see all of my thoughts. I have, you know... It is a little bit complicated, but I have all my notes, right? I have everything. Now, I usually don't do this. Uh, this is this is more of what the members see here, right? This is way more of what the members see. The only reason I do this because I really feel what we're like hanging, just hanging on the edge here and can fall out really, really, really hard, okay? Like I'm talking like fall out like, to 3k hard okay even 2800 hard like that like i'm i'm a little on the edge right now i think if we have one dump we could literally take this baby down to the deep 300s the low 300s and that's why i'm trying to keep everybody safe because if i don't do this and i'm just protecting the members you're just getting wrecked and listen you don't ever 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 have to wait for somebody to post on twitter you can just log in 24 hours a day, guys. I keep the charts updated like crazy. I tell you what my thoughts are. I tell you exactly what I feel has to happen, right? I said, this needs to get broken, right? Or we can bounce again, and I'm going to keep this here, right? This has got to get broken. Otherwise, it keeps get, we can get bounce again. I put very important notes on here. Whether you understand what they mean or not, that's, you know, I, I can't hold your hand, but that's why we have the members area, right? But I'm, I'm not shilling you the members area. I don't ask for anything. 
All I ask for is please, please help me save one trader every single day. Go to your Twitter page. Get up here. Just give me an FF, right? That's all I have. Please. All you got to do is chart vampire is, you know, just type in. He's absolutely amazing. You should follow this guy. He will literally help you out. He's there for you 24 hours a day, saving little baby sheepies, leading them so they don't get slaughtered, right? And I'm trying to I'm trying to be the shepherd for everyone on Twitter right now. That's what I feel like. All right, so we're going to break into our first, very first chart. Now, actually, start with what our chart was. So we had, this is our E-Wave. I removed that where it said the E-Wave. I took it off there. You guys all know if you were signed in yesterday. Uh, I still, I, I think this is our possibly our E-Wave here. There's still our e Right now, here's the thing, uh, until we break, right, so we've got two real tests ahead of us. We have to get through this confluence area right here of all these candles, all right, without getting through this. We can still bounce. We can still bounce, and nothing that says we can't bounce out of here, okay? Uh, number two is we still have to break through this local historical support right here, which is also the bottom, Right, this is our bottom right here. This is 3650 area. Until we get below this and make a new lower low, we're just kind of dicking around. We're just kind of putting around. Now you see we have put in a lower high and we've put in a a a, a higher a, a lower low on this chart, and we're about to break this lower low once again, right? Uh, uh lower uh, lower high, actually a higher high, lower high lower high and we're about to break this again right so now until we break this local and this is called local historical support right this is just right in this area until we break this local historical support with this trend line right we can still bounce out of here this is still got support you've got the historical support you've got the trend line support you've got all that jazz working for you so no no FOMO Right, no FOMO until we start to get down here. Right now, we are seeing market weakness. Okay, let me black this out. Uh, we are seeing market weakness. Now, look, our volume has been dropping. So we've got volume dropping on these bearish candles, right? So that would be bullish divergence. As the price moves down, the, the, uh, the volume is moving down. That's a little bit of bearish divergence. Now, it's not much. It's really tight still. Right, this is really tight, so you can't like you want to see more like a step down like this or like this, right? This is keeping within a tight range, so you still got to be wary of that when that is is popping down like that, right? So the first thing we see is uh, the four hour a little bullish divergence, right? So we got a little bullish divergence. Uh, let's go over and take a look at the six hour. Uh, six hours, same thing, right? Let's stepping down. Now, we've got an hour and 37 minutes left in this candle. So we've got an hour 37 left in this candle right here. This can come up even, right? Now, we did get a short call on the B scalper. Uh, put in this, uh, golly, this is a brutal candle because this was definitely a reversal candle. Same thing over here on the four hour, right? We hit that candle at the bottom of a trend. It was definitely bullish and we still fell out. That just shows you the insane amount of market weakness that we have. Look at this. This candle right here was bullish, fell out. This candle was bullish, fell out. This candle was bullish. It finally picked it up, right? You have bullish, a spinning top, spinning top. You fell right to another spinning top, right to a shooting star, and then fell out again into a bullish candle, fell out. And we still got four hours left in this baby. Uh, we've got a, a full candle left in this thing, a full candle. Let's see if we can get any volume in this. But look, a close right below this, just a single candle close below this, right, will trigger for me a, a confirmation of a deeper fall, right? You're just basically going to confirm you're going down deeper, right? So look, we are on a nine. We reset here on that. We also reset our nine, our bleeding nine. Uh, we actually had just a nine here. We reset this to a one, right? Both these. Now these are completely reset to fall even farther. Your 12 hour is in no hurry. Uh, it's still on a five, a red five. Look at this. You put up a nice spinning top candle, 
right? You got a nice spinning top candle right here. Uh, fell out of that spinning top candle. And uh, look, it's so close to breaking. I mean, it is just on the nuts and butts here. Now, this is a 12-hour candle. You're, you're eight hours in. You got, uh, you're four and a half hours into this thing. You got a long way to go. There's no reason why you can't uh, break through this level. Now, breaking through this level to me is going to be a very bearish signal. And that's why I've said, you know, you got, it's, it's, that's why I've been telling everybody, you got to get through this previous bottom. Okay, until you get through this previous bottom, it's just all suds and duds. Okay, let's take a look at our daily close. Our daily close uh inside bar candle so we closed out yesterday as an inside bar candle uh i don't like this this is also a quasi really confused right here really confused candle so all right so let's move along let's take a look at a couple of other charts uh basically just my member six hour chart there's that wave e these are all our supports and resistances as i go down right our, our got our I put on all our fibs so you can see all the support and resistance lines. Look, there's your trend line coming down. You wicked through it. And then this was the resistance area, your wave E area. This was an easy short, uh, at least to here, an easy scalping short. Now, until you break this level, you're technically in this larger channel right here. Uh, it's actually a smaller channel. The larger channel is still here. This is our smaller channel. So falling out of this smaller channel, if you do get all the way down here, you would look for a little bounce. The hopes and dreams is we can hit here, give us one more bounce up, and then fall out. We'll go over that in a little while. Um, uh, rolling over, our 12-hour uh, MACD is rolling over here. Uh, <laughs> look at my, got a lot of poop emojis there. Uh, I want to see the daily volume. Uh, daily volume ticked up. Look at that, little more daily volume there. Still in a downtrend. Look, we're nowhere near breaking this previous trend. If you draw a line right there, we're not going to even get close to breaking that previous trend. Um, cool. All right, here's our BLX chart. Ah, I hate when this thing does this. Come on, there we go. Okay, all right, let's take a look here. This is our multiple Myers chart. This also helps us find baby bull Jesus. And look, got a little bit of retraction. Remember, this thing is way behind. I mean, you see the price on this baby over here, right? 3,900, this takes a whole day to update. Last time, what happened is we here, test, test, down, up one little time, and then we fell hard, right? Test, test, down, up one little time. Now, if we fall right here, this candle is gonna fall straight down. And it could be this candle, the capitulation time. I do think we are close. I, this is one of the things I am scared about. I'm looking at this. I'm looking at this. And I got to tell you guys, I am a little concerned, right? Like in the previous time, one, two, look, look, look at all these lower lows. Uh, high, look, lower, lower high, lower high, lower high dump, right? Lower high, lower high, lower high dump. Lower high, lower high. This would be our lower high. And then you would take a dump, and I'm ta talking like a dump, and you got some nice warm seat to sit on with some cushy toilet paper. I'm talking you're taking a poop in the woods with the bears. The only thing you're wiping your butt with is a bunny. Okay, so we're moving along to our AR, and this is our NVT chart. Now, NVT chart does know exactly where baby bull Jesus is. This thing will find it for us. We know exactly when we will have baby bull Jesus. This thing can fall fast. It can fall hard. It is on, literally on the support over here, right? Just on that support right there, trying to break through. Now, if we come through this support right here, we have another layer of support right below us here. So you got a little confluence in the support layer right below us. Uh, this is kind of the last ditch thing to fall out right here. But we just, this, if this would be a double bottom, we got to watch this too, right? If we get a bounce out of here, this would be a double bottom. It would be pretty interesting to see how high we would climb with a double bottom drop right there, right? Look, you got a double bottom here before, right? Now this came from the upside, but dumb, bum, double bottom and bounced out very nicely, okay? So we're gonna really be watching this NVT chart. This will tell us exactly when and where baby Jesus is, and baby bull Jesus, and he is and can be very close, okay? Very close, and I don't know, do we have, look what happened here. Test, bounce, test, 
Uh, like very same thing. We test, bounce, big bounce. Now we're close. We're either going to break north here or we're going to go find baby bull Jesus pretty PDQ pretty damn quick. Uh, we're Let's take a look at our money flow here. Uh, we are still not down to the, like, you got to get back down here. We have to get back down to six, uh, 35, 64, 35, 50, 35, 50 would be our part point where we would basically fall the F out. I'm going to slide this up just a little bit more right into there, right about there, right? So you you hit 35, 50. And we will hit a void, and this void will run us all the way down to 2,800. This is where I think our catch basin is. This is where I think we will find Baby Bull Jesus right down here. It just takes one push off the cliff. Someone throw a freaking banana peel out there. Get it over with. I feel like the core, this is like, honestly, if I, w I feel like this is like my wife and me. I am in the hospital, right? My wife is just like, put him down, put him down. Listen, whatever it takes, I'll sign whatever it needs. Uh, man, but his arm is broken. Listen, no one wants to see him suffer. Just put him down, okay? <laughs> that's exactly what my wife would be saying right <laughs> so let's move along here all right um let's see here uh this is all our supports and resistances in our local area so what i did is i did a chart with all the local support and resistance points and you can see you know got up here tested all these there was that head and shoulder uh testing all these out and nothing 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 uh, see, we have no more, like this is now considered local support. So we're going to have to throw a trend line right on here. There's your local, oh man, it's, I'm going to do this. I'm going to copy and paste this one, clone, right? And there we go. This is our local support right there. Because look, there's nothing here to support this, right? That's it. This is it, All right? And moving right along here. Yeah, just older charts. Uh, the void, you see the void. We showed you this on the VPVR chart. This is where your void is. You fall down here. You've only got your 200 MA to save you. Uh, going, chalk and money flow. Not a whole lot going on. RSI, doing it. Ooh, no. I kind of thought that was making a little head and shoulders. It is not. Uh, it is not making a head and shoulders, but it is wedging itself up. Pretty damn nice right there, right? I mean, I'm going to cut that off like that, All right? That's kind of what that looks like right there, right? That downtrend. I do have that also on another chart, and I'll get back over to that one in a second. Um, let me screenshot this. Let's screenshot this, baby. All right. 12-hour RSI wedged up. Right, wedged up. You know that 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 could A B C D E failure wave. We'll see how that goes. Uh, ADX chart, ADX chart rolling back over. Now this does look like a head and shoulders to me. This is the twelve hour ADX chart, and here's the uh, here's the baby bull Jesus, baby bull Jesus chart. Look at how much closer we're getting, guys. We are getting so close to baby bull Jesus. This is our weekly baby bull Jesus chart on the ADX, right? Getting closer to BBJ. Right? So on this, we're getting closer to BBJ. Look, this is also, see, the yellow line. Watch for this huge support bounce that happened in 2014. So on this support line right here, right, we haven't quite kissed it yet. We're just, we're literally... This is, we're like licking the boots of this thing, okay? We're like down here, right? We're so close. We're just about to tap it. And last time we got a massive bounce out of it, right? Think now this happened before we had the death cross. The death cross you can see is right here, right? It's right there, right? So our death cross, we are, we're in our death cross right now. See, there's our death cross right there. Right now we're all the way down to this level. This happened pre-death cross. We're actually post-death cross right now. I'm just trying to figure out, you know, are we gonna? This is 
critical. Are we going to bounce off this thing? If we bounce off this thing, we will not hit the 7MA. There's the 7MA charging down. It keeps moving lower. It's at 5,200 right now. This baby's just going to chuck on down, and then it's going to cross with this 128 line, which is also one of my important trend lines, and it's going to cross that and cause another bear reaction, right? We're going to get a second bear reaction out of that, and we're getting close and then you can see all the way down here look this is where we cross this yellow line is the 128 okay and i'm gonna take that off there's the 128 cross right there it was the last bear cross with a little slap in the butt on the way down right this is the little slap on the butt on the way out the door after a one night stand right just to make you feel that much like uh, that was awkward, right? And here's the first one. This is the spanking during the action. Then this is the spanking on the way out the door, right? Just to let you know, good riddance. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed the ride. See ya, wouldn't want to be ya, right? But we're getting close here, all right? So moving along. Uh, oh, right into resistance. Here's our resistance. We've had this pegged up here on our, I'm gonna copy and paste this. Ooh, so this is our WMA TSI chart. Weighted Moving Average, True Strength Index at resistance. And we have been watching this resistance area play out for a long time. Look, it got up there, tried to roll over, right? This thing tried to roll over. Uh, once again, that awkward one night stand thing, you try to roll them over. They're like, what are you trying to do? That's too freaky for me. I'm not into that. Then they roll back over and you're like, ah, you little, right? And then so here we are, right? This thing is trying to roll over. Right, trying to roll over a couple shots of tequila, you can get them all to roll over. There it is, right there, boys and girls. So close, right? One or two more shots of tequila, and this baby's rolling over, right? Face down. Well, anyways, you know the rest of the song, right? All right, so there we go. So we're we're so close. If this thing rolls over, there we go. We will go south hard if this does roll over. Now this is trying so hard to get a little bit of a pick me up to save this right but look at this run we've had this a beautiful run had a great run down beautiful run back right and now look where we're at and i want to show you how this is very bearish uh, i'm going to show you really quick how this is bearish right so if you take it from here to there you ran all that way up okay right that's all that way up you guys just ran right let's find the bottom of this thing right there's the bottom there's where you're at Okay, look at that. <laughs> You've went up a whole 5.7%, right? You've gone up a whopping, right? Count it, count it with me, right? Setting the bar low for the trailer park girls. Here it is. This is it right here, right? Man with all his hair in the front. This is it. Look at that. Look at this, right? Unbelievable run on this and nothing on the downside, right? Now let's do this for the bat. Let's do this for the the bulls will do it for the bears, right? Let's run the run from the bears. There it is. And then let's run that all the way up there. Right? Wow. That's how it's done, people. This is how it's done. Right here. Right here. You guys know the uh, mating call in uh, Wisconsin? Anybody here from America? The mating call is when you take a nice cold beer and you open it up. That's the mating call. This right here just heard the mating call and came running. Came running. Cracked open a nice cold beer. Mmm. Mmm. Gets them every time, right? All right. And moving along. AH, uh, listen, this move so far has not been volatile. The HV chart is showing us that this is not volatile at all. Uh, historical volatility chart just shows that there's a lack of interest in the market. Kind of bleeding out. The market is just bleeding. That's all it's doing right now. Ah, look at Oni, you serve the good stuff, man. You serve the good stuff. Longs to shorts. There's our longs to shorts. Our shorts uh, keep climbing, came down a little bit. Oh, man, look at the longs. Longs RSI is down, 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 right? But look at the shorts RSI still. Like, it, this is in a wedge. This thing is just wedged up, and I hate to say it, but this is a bullish wedge right there, right? It's not a, it's not a head and shoulders that looks like a bullish, bullish wedge that's going to break up one more time possibly, right? I mean, it could break down. Now, here's what would happen. If the price all of a sudden just took a header, boom, right? Let's just call it, we just took a header to 3200 bucks right here, even $3,400. These shorts would plummet, 
right? These shorts would plummet. They would drop like your short, like seriously, these things would drop like a kegger at a high school party, right? Down, easily down, right? All right. I mean, these shorts will just dump to the ground if this baby, if we lose this support level we're at right now, if we lose this support level and let's just say we drop to 3,400, 3,200, people will be liquidating their shorts in a heartbeat trying to get out of them because they know there's going to be a bounce coming. All right. Uh, oh, I got to save this. Uh, but no, there's no warnings on the RSI yet. We are not, we have no warnings on the RSI, right? Shorts to longs. The longs RSI is going down. Still not oversold. All right, so the longs are not oversold until they get all the way down to this region. Once this RSI gets all the way down to this region, this would be oversold. Okay. Uh, new monthly candle. Man, no bueno. It doesn't look good at all. Take a look down here. We are starting to teeter off and to break this support right here. This is kind of our last support over here on USD. USDT has already gone it and taken a dive. Listen, when I think about USDT, all I think about is if I could only meet a girl like this who doesn't want the real thing, you can buy them the fake Prada bags, the fake Louis bags. It's so much cheaper. Right, good old trailer park girl. That's how I think of USDT. Like honestly, that is that that's how we should call like USDT the trailer park girl of crypto. Right, a little trashy. Right, that's where the USDT comes from. Right, <laughs> USD trashy. <laughs> oh, sorry for those USDT lovers out there. Um, weekly charts, all shit. Like just look, rolled back over. Uh, God, ugly. Uh, look, look at how close we are. We're so close to our 200 MA here, people, right? Let's take a look. So look, zoom in nice and tight, right? Look at this. Look at, there's our 50 MA. There's our 200 MA. We're so close, right? We are so close. Come here. Give me this, right? This is 3,200 to... 2976 2976 okay uh the weekly 200 uh, ma is at 3200 ish right the monthly uh 50 ma is at 29 what did we say? 29, oh, 2980-ish, right? 2980-ish. All right, what do we got here? Oh, Crypto Trader's got a chart he wants to share with us. Oh, we can't open your chart, man. Killing us, buddy. We tried. Tried Crypto Trader. Um, all right, where do we got here? Uh, so here you see our weekly chart. Uh, this was a, this is called an inside bar candle. The inside bar candle fell out. Now listen, once again, until we break this damn wedge right here, this can be a bear flag. So this can come all the way down here, bounce off, come all the way back up here to 4,200, come all the way back down here and play with our emotions, right? A, B, C, D, fail, done. And this could take four weeks to play out even. This could take four weeks to play out. We don't want to do this, okay? Um, moving along, and what do we got here? RSI just rolled back over. Uh, now, look, you have not hit your lowest of your low RSI. Uh, this is actually, I just need one chart. There's Bitstamp right there. Your RSI back in 2015 when you did find Baby Bull Jesus, there he was. He was way down here on the weekly. He was way down to 27. So baby bull Jesus was all the way down to 27. We are parked up here and just rolled back over on 31. Okay. Still got room to go. Uh, uh, getting real low on our stoke. Take a look at our stoke. Our stoke rolled back over on our 12 hour. Uh, 12 hour stoke. Still got a little bit of room to go. Once it gets down here, it can just bounce around. Right? So take a look. Last time this baby fell. Look where this fell from. So when you fell from right here, right? When you fell from right here, oh, I'll zoom this out. Right? When you fell from right here, look at how low you were. 
you are all the way down here, right? You are so low. Like all these big falls happen really deep. The stoke was just skipping on the bottom. You went all the way up here. You just retraced all the way back down. Now, if this thing just starts skipping again, it's just going to start beating us right in the pants, right? Not good. All bad. Let's move on. Okay. And, uh, ooh, ooh. All right, so there's our one-day chart. If you look back to the prior resistance on this bid stamp chart, on the one-day chart, you're testing. You're so close to testing to break out through the bottom of this thing. It's just getting super, super close. Now, your weekly over here, this is your one week. You're down below. You used the, uh, the Bollinger Band as your topside support. Uh, I still think we're going to get a bounce down here. I do have bids loaded. I move these are these are my bids. I do also have some bids loaded way down here, right? I am ready to go. Now let's get into this chart really quick. This is a very important chart that y'all need to take a look at. So here, this is my bubble chart. This is my MACD bubble chart. The MACD bubble chart shows you specific sports and resistances as you move along. If you want to learn more about this, we got all kinds of training videos that show you exactly how to set up your bubble chart and how it works and what it does, okay, and how to read it. So first of all, I marked all these with pink arrows. Everything with a pink arrow, right, is a bear trend. So every pink arrow on the top matches with a bear trend from the bottom. Here's the bear trend. Here's the bear trend. Here's the bear trend, right? Shows you the bear trend from the bottom. Now, as you have moved along on these continuation bear trends, you have these resets. So what it is, is your indicators have to reset. They just go so low, they're like, hey, we have to reset. It's just too deep for us, right? So what you've got is you guys got to take a look. Every time you come down, you bounce up in when you're bearish. Right, because technically this bearish scenario started right here. So you could actually drop a pink arrow right there. Right? So there's this was the top of the fall. This arrow could go to here. This is a bearish, this is a re so look at how far this drop was, right? You had to reset your indicators for another drop. Reset your indicators for another drop, right? Same thing here. Now these pink boxes are the resets. So what happens is you reset. This is where your MACD comes up and rolls over, right? Look very familiar to where we are right now. Kind of looks familiar, right? So we are actually rolling over. We are in a bearish trend, right? We're completely bearish. Now you could start your, your also your arrow from here, right there to there, okay? Right here to here. Now, take a look. Every time these pretty much do this reset, okay, you usually have at least one, if not two, resets that occur along the way, right? So you at least get one, right? Like, take a look at this one. This one bounced, reset here, dumped, reset here, dumped, right? This one bounced, reset here, and dumped, reset here, and dumped. Here, right? Reset here, and dumped, reset here, and dumped. So right now, we came all the way back up on this, baby. We cruised all the way back up, right? Look, we fell from, look, our indicator is higher now than it was from our original fall, okay? I'm sorry, that is not bullish at all, okay? Now, you can get a dip and it's called a J hook. So what I did is I marked this as a J hook. See this yellow one right here? This yellow box, this is a J hook pattern in a bearish continuum. So technically from here to here is all bearish. This is one long bearish run, right? Where the market was being held up in place by the exchanges. Okay, so during this bearish run, we got this J hook pattern. This J hook pattern is where the price action falls through on the blue indicator line, rolls over on the MACD line. I'm sorry, the MACD line rolls over on the indicator line right here, right? Rolls over on the indicator line, rolls back up. This is very bullish. What it is, it's a reset in price action. So that the basically you say, hey, nope, we're not done. The bulls want to reset this one more time and load this up before they dump it on you, okay? It's almost an artificial loading pattern for the bulls, right? So it's like, yeah, we're not done dumping on the plebs. Let's just pick up a little more and we'll dump it a little higher on them. I'm talking this thing can, you know, previously this thing has run up a lot on these J-hook patterns. Here's a J-hook pattern right here. 
right? This J-hook pattern started right here, ended right here. This is almost a thousand points, right? It is a thousand points. So here you go. We have are kind of at a moment. A, we're at a crisis moment right now, okay? Are we going to get a J-hook pattern, right? That could possibly give us one little more up here, right? Almost like a second double top but lower it would actually give us a possible lower second top okay if we did a lower second top just like we did over here right if we get a lower second top it would be extremely bearish right now if we got a, a higher second top we pulled over here and ran all the way up to like 4460 or something like that and we got just a little bit above this all right, then in that situation, we'd be posting up a rising wedge or a flag pattern. This would be probably the absolute worst thing ever for crypto. And then we would take a super hard header because we'd really reset all the indicators. Now, the indicator that's most important to us, if we go back and look, is the NVT chart. So the NVT chart is the one that we're really watching because that thing calls super accurate the bottoms and the tops. So now here we are. We're poised all the way to the tippy tippy top here. We've just crossed over. The moment of truth is here, right? Do we get one more little poke back up, right? And then down, we're about to find out. We're right. That's why I'm saying, that's why I'm leaving my charts up for you guys. When you get to this point, it's kind of the make or break, right? Like last time, honestly, so you kind of, now let's zoom in here real tight okay now last time look what happened you came down you hit this last little candle right here and you got a little fallout now this fallout wasn't bad 6300 to 6600 not bad at all that's not that bad of a little bounce because we don't have we didn't really have a little amount of movement in here but at the other time you fell right there's the last time you rolled over and fell basically the last time this right here rolled over on top of this we're here right so we're all the way down here so this rolled over right there right you got one little baby bump up we'll zoom into this right this is it right here you got one little baby bump up bunch of bearish candles and it just died okay same thing here here you go so you fell down you touched as soon as you touched right here you just kind of skidded sideways with a little up action and then it just completely tanked out. And we all know where we're at right now. We are at a new low. This is not bullish. Just FYI, uh, I know there's a bunch of bulls, uh, perma bulls out there that's saying, yeah, no, this is just a bullish continuation pattern of a uh, two wave or something like that, right? This is not. We're, we're looking for a real bottom, okay? And, and we're, we know we're not at the bottom. NVT chart shows we're not at the bottom. ADX chart shows we're not at the bottom. We're not at the fucking bottom, okay? We're not at the bottom. If you guys want a bottom, go to a strip club, slap down 20 bucks, smack some bottom, okay? Because we are not at a bottom. All right, I'm going to bring up a couple more charts. I'm going to try to get this done as quickly and as efficiently as possible. I know people hate watching my videos for hours and hours and hours. And I'm going to try to get this baby logged out here. All right, so this is our brand new indicator that we got here. Uh, we are watching this. If this green line rolls over on top of the red line, that means absolute shit show. Pack your bags, going down, uh, heading downtown, not good at all. Unfortunately, the 12 hour, right? 12 hour is tickling the nutsack of the red line, right? It's got the hand down the pants of the red line right there. Here we are. We are so close to falling out, right? Now, as you go back and look at this, I have a full video that teaches you exactly how to use this indicator. As we get right here, right, we have made a higher high, right, a higher, uh, uh, lower high, and a third lower high right here. Now, if this does dump out right here, it is going to drop like a hot rock that my daughter dropped in her diapers when she was like three years old. It's going to be stinky. It's going to be ugly. It's going to be smelly. And unfortunately, I'm always the one who had to clean that shit up, right? That was dad duty. Dad duty 101, clean up the hot rocks. So are we going to drop a hot rock right here? It is totally possible. Now, we are at the top of the Bollinger Band over here. This is the Bollinger Band. We're top of the Bollinger Band over here. If we break this uh, mean line, it's going to be ugly. Now, let me show you what. Here is the daily. 
This is the daily. Look at this thing. I mean, Jesus Christ, it's like two kissing cousins on a sunny day with some cold beer in, in like Louisiana. No one knows what's about to happen, right? And if it does happen, it could be a total secret, right? This is going to get real ugly. If this red rolls over, right, if this red breaks south on us right now, this thing's going to be ugly. Even worse, if this green just rolls back over to the bottom side right here, like it's making a little uh, head and shoulders. <laughs> Yeek. If this makes a head and shoulders, right? There's the last time it made a head and shoulders right there, right? If this makes a little baby head and shoulders right there, this is unbelievably going to be super ugly. Let's go back over here and take a look. Yeah, there you go. Look, head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. There it is right there, right? At the top of the Bollinger Band. Now, on the daily, look at how well this thing works. It does not like to touch the mean line. Right there it is. Once you get down here, it swoops around. Look, never touch the mean line, never touch the mean line, never touch the mean line. Right? Touches the mean line, doesn't touch the mean line. Okay? This thing goes back. You can just trace this thing back. On the dumps, it doesn't like to touch the mean line until it breaks it. Once again, another reason why I'm running my charts, because if you break this baby right here, we're going bullish, and we're going to run right back up. I'm going to be like so, oh, fuck. Oh, I'm going to be just like that, okay? I'm so sick of this freaking bull market. I'm so sick of this goddamn bull market, bear market. I'm so ready for a bull market, right? What this means right here, Alagaster, is that we are at a point of, on so many charts that say we can literally fall out or pump, we're at a moment of indecision. This is like a cliff. Like I said, we're on the cliff. We just need the final push, okay? I mean, my, just, I'm telling you, right? This is me in the green. This is my wife. This is the million dollars. This, this, this box right here, right? This is this. Should, I, what I should have is I should have this, right? Do, 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 do. Right? Okay. This is my life insurance policy, right? All my wife is thinking just one push. One push off the cliff. Woohoo! Ha! <laughs> she can get a hot pool boy, half my age, right? My life insurance policy is pretty damn good, right? I mean, I'm worth at least a good shove, right? At least give me a shove. Just, you know, make sure you kill me on the first one. That's all I've ever asked my wife. Just make sure you do it on the first shove, okay? I've seen some of them where they drag you back up the stairs, throw you off again, still dig, drag you back up, throw you off again, you know, over and over, right? Let's just get this shit over with, okay? Like if this was my wife, right, and I'm Bitcoin, right? This is Bitcoin right here. That's me, okay? And let's let's go find my wife. She's got to be over here somewhere, right? Where's she at? All right, she's got to be here. Here she is. We'll find her right here. No, honey. I love you, right? Seriously, she's like, no, really, where's the law? There it is. All right, I love you. I really do. I love you, baby. Oh, all right, let's, come here. Give me this thing. Come here. And nice red heart, right? Just one bump. Boom. Right, there she goes. All right, and that's it. I mean, it's going to be this simple. We're this close. This is your significant other. This is you. You just need to decide how much you're worth right now to your significant other, okay? All right? I just, I just, listen, make sure, just make sure there's no witnesses, okay? That's all I got to say. She's going to make sure there's no witnesses. All right? This is how close. Either we're going to go up here or we're going to get pushed off the damn cliff. We're that close. Uh, da, 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 moving along, moving along. Oh, this is what my biggest fear is. My biggest fear is this. Moving inside this freaking range here is what we don't want to do. I have this drawn out. This would super, super suck. Down to 34, 3500. Up, down again, up. Oh, this would be just so agonizingly painful. Please don't let this happen, baby Jesus. Baby bull Jesus. All right, here we are on our uh, H. This is our, uh, this is our, uh, what do you call it? Our, uh, damn it. 
This is our, uh, damn, our Gauss trend line chart. That's right. So this is our Gauss trend line chart. Here's our stages. We're trying to figure out right now what stage we are in, right? Where are we at? Where are we at? Hold on, pull back way back here. Let's go find baby bull Jesus, right? Come on, where are you at? We're getting close. All right, here we are. So we have said we do not know what stage we are in of this fall, okay? Are we in stage one or stage two? Or stage three. We're definitely not in stage three of the fall. Okay, but here you are. Here's your stages of your fall over here. I can actually do this on the weekly chart. Yeah, there we go. All right, so this chart also called Baby Bull Jesus absolutely perfectly. Right there it is. This is it. This is called the Gauss trend line chart. The Gauss trend line chart calls this exactly perfect. Okay. Right, this is it. There it is. Baby Bull Jesus right there tapped at 150 on the Gauss trend line. This is the weekly trend line. And if you want to know where it's at right now, it is. Oh, I got to get this on the weekly. Sorry. Boop. Right. It is. Hold on. Give me one second. I was doing some other stuff with this chart. Right. And all right, and there we go. This is where, baby, this is on the Gauss trend line, right? There's stage one and two, right? There's stage one, there's stage two. I don't know. Here's stage one, here's stage two. This is stage three where you tap baby bull Jesus line, okay? There is baby bull Jesus line. It's the white line right here, right? We are so close to this. Look where this line is, 2344 right now, and diving, 2344. It's losing probably an average about, this is a weekly chart, so it's slowly sloping down, like 20 points, 30 points a week, not much, right? This is why I have ch I have long, I have buys laddered down here, right? Now, you got to be very careful last time. Last time we were outside of this, this is one of my biggest concerns why I think we can also pump right here. Look, there's your, this is the outside of your Bollinger Band lines right here, right? Last time we were inside of the Bollinger Bands and we found the bottom of the Bollinger Bands right here to find baby bull Jesus. So for that to occur again, we'd have to come back in and then down and then tap the Bollinger, the Bollinger band line. And this Bollinger band line, it'd have to swoop down like that. Right? And that would be your Bollinger band line right there. Right? This would so suck. So suck. I mean, look at this. This would this is a huge retracement back here. Massive retracement. Now, look, we never had this retracement here, okay? Look, there's no retrace. This candle. Never has, well, it hasn't happened yet, right? Hasn't happened yet. Look, we haven't broken a new low. This never broke a new low. We still have not broken a new low, right? Until we break this new low, you don't violate this old uh, bounce back into the trend line dealio, right? You're still technically over here. Now, the bad news is that when you do get underneath this thing sometimes, right? When you do get underneath this thing sometimes, I mean, this chart will move uh, kind of quick, kind of slow, right? But if this thing just falls out one more time, like I said, there's your 200 MA, there's your baby bull Jesus. This thing could literally just give us one more little tap down and then, right, our bounce out. There would be our bullish bounce, right? Look at this. This coming, firing back up into this trend line with just one little bounce out. Look at this bullish move we would have. It would be insane. Right, insane. I just don't think we got it in us because there's your 100 MA. I don't think we can go up over 5200. But man, we can get a run up right here. I think we, you know, we could bounce, get a nice little run up. Listen, buying Bitcoin for 302 dollars, 320 bucks, right, is a hell of a lot freaking easier to pull out of your pocket and buy a 322 dollar Bitcoin than it is to buy a 3800 dollar Bitcoin right now. I personally, you could have bought a gajesus amount of them, right? Just a ton of the damn things back here, right? So this is where we're at. You see what happened before. Look, we fell outside of it, rolled back in, rolled back in like this. But here, now we broke out of it. 
So this is the difference. This is now. This is this is then. Broke out of it, came back in, right? Look at how similar this is. This shows that we're a lot weaker. This shows we're a lot weaker right here. And look at how tight that squeeze is, right? Look at how tight that squeeze is right there, right? We didn't get that tight squeeze till way over here till we actually found the bull market. So the bull market, this thing squeezed up in the bull market. This thing squeezed up and we were still bearish. Now it's opening back up, okay? Uh, what do we got? Uh, Oni sent a chart. Oni's got the... T -t 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 oh, geez. Yep. Yep. Uh, yeah. Yeah. 3,700 tight time frame chart. Two hours. Yep. Totally possible. All right. Let's buzz through this thing real quick. Um, yeah. This is just my W. This is my looking for the bottom. I'm just... Uh, okay. So I'll show you this real quick. So this is my Gauss trend line chart. Uh, you can see there's my arrows up, my arrows down. You guys saw that on my stuff over here. Do, do, do. Where's it at? Where is it at? There we go. Where are you? Boom. There it is. Look at how perfect that is. Fucking amazing. Right? That's what I call it. That's what That's how you do it right there. That's how you do it. This is how we do it. Da 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 da. Right? That's how you do it right there. Right? That's what I'm talking about. That's freaking amazing. Boop. Sorry, got to keep the, for propriety's sakes, right? Got to keep, otherwise the trolls come out and you know how it is. All right, let me do this one more time. And boop. Boop, that was yesterday. Control C, sorry to take up everybody's valuable time. I apologize. I'm almost done. All right, let's get that off there. Uh, to be a member, right? Look at that beautiful little chart. Now, what I was looking at here is this is my Gauss trend line chart. This shows our supports and resistances. Okay, so you see we're at the mean line of the four hour. This likes to go back to the mean line. It loves to get back to the mean line. So here we are. We're we're down here now. Look. So there we are. We just nothing six hour. There's our support on the bottom side, 3,500 on the six hour, 3,500 on the four hour, 12 hours parked right below us, 36, there it is. Look at this. So the 12 hour is going to be our support on the bottom side. Like if we fall out here, we're just going to land on this. This is actually the L2. This is your layer two down right now. Look, don't look at the bottom one. We don't look at the bottom one. Okay. Just look at this one. Focus on this one. So we broke into this channel. Look at how it's holding in the channel. We're going to go to the daily. Uh, the daily we're on the bottom side. So there we are. We're on the bottom side of the daily and this thing just, you know, you see where your resistance just keeps moving up your support. I'm sorry, on the bottom side. Uh, you know, listen, this thing loves the way this chart. I love how this Gauss trend line, look at how this thing calls. Oops. Look at how this thing calls the tops and the bottoms, right? Look at that. Called the top, called the bottom perfectly, right? Called the bottom there, called all these tops, right? Called the bottom here, right? Held that support for a second, held the support for a second right down there. Now it is looking and hunting for this. It wants to touch this, right? It wants to touch this so bad, right? It loves to touch this, right? It's what it wants to do. And if you look at this on the bigger time frame, right? Here's the bigger time frame. There's your weekly. It loves to look at it. Tickled the top. Just caressed it gently. Gently caressed it, right? And you go back here, right? It doesn't like it. It likes it both ways. I hate to say it. It loves it both ways. Loves it on the top. Loves a little rub on the bottom. And then it's once you rub it on the bottom, it's fine, right? This is, oh, just loves a little rub on the bottom, right? Looking for a rub on the bottom down here. There's your rubby rubby. This baby's rolling over. This is it. This is baby bull Jesus right there coming to town. 
Uh, TRX, let's run through our TRX chart. Uh, head up and down, looks good. Uh, I head up on the E wave, come down, got to test the wedge. Uh, SV, oh, I'm going to be so right on this thing. I'm telling you people I'm going to be right on SV. 50 bucks, 50 bucks. I'm telling you, SV, $50, then 38 bucks. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Where can I short the shit out of this? I'm a little bit upset that I can't short the crap out of this. Where can I short the piss out of this thing? Okay? So I want to short the hell out of this thing. Where can I do it? Oh, I'm so mad at myself, right? The only chance was this head and shoulders. And the head and shoulders just got blown out, right? Blown out. Oh, I was... Me and Lisa, we've had a little side. <laughs> me and Lisa. We've been going downtown, me and Lisa. She's like, it's going up. I'm like, no, it's going down. She's like, it's going up. I'm like, no, it's going down. <laughs> I'm like, she's like, it's in a triangle. I'm like, eh, it's going down. It's in a bearish wedge. <laughs> oh, we've been going at it. It's been cute. I love Lisa, though. She's awesome. All right. Uh, E-Wave back down to test the trend line on uh, Litecoin. Litecoin, same thing. Litecoin is a little more bearish right now, though, because, look, Litecoin is actually on the trend line, right? The Litecoin actually came down and tested this trend line. I might even see if I can slide this up. Look at that. Yeah, sure enough. I, there it is. Look at that. I can slide that up. So Litecoin is more bearish. So on this E-wave and on this trend line, let me tell you what likes to happen here, okay? I'm going to screenshot this for the members. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to put in here, right? I go over here. I go down to Litecoin. All right. So LTC is more bearish than BTC. Uh, on an e, e failure wave, the price action likes to test the trend line, the, the wedge line, line uh, one to three times before it breaks. These are DCBs and watch for a failure the third time right so dead cat bounce dead cat bounce so this completely came down and racked that baby a third time okay all right there's that uh raven oh. <sighs> fuck yeah unbelievable so running as a fifth wave uh this uh, the good side of it this is running as a fifth wave c a, B, C wave right there. You're running your fifth wave. There's wave one, one, two, three, four, and you're looking for wave five right there. Now, I could only count an impulsive wave up. So fingers crossed, this is an impulsive wave up. I am holding on to Raven. I did buy it down here at about, I actually bought it like 305 or something. I bought it like super cheap. What the hell did I buy it? No, no, I bought it over here. So I had to get it like in the three. I bought it over here at the bottom, bottom. No. Nope, nope, I take it back. I did buy it at 305. I bought it way down here. I bought it way over here. This is the four hour chart. Yeah. So I am holding this. Now, if it does give up this bottom right here, right? Just break this bottom and that's it. I mean, you're going to go to a new lower low, right? So we're just going to retype in this thing. Break this and ouch. Okay, I will have to liquidate my position. I'll take out, I'll just get out of my position. That's it. You break that. That's it. No bueno. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right. Uh, yeah, please hold on, Raven. I'm actually holding. It's one of the few coins. Ah, there we go. All right. So here's a perfect example of the baby bounce. So we just talked about this, peoples. Okay, so look at this. I said it bounce, right? Look at that. It hit there. Bounced up, right? Now it can bounce two to three times and it falls right through. This is exactly what we talk about on an E failure wave. I just typed it out. So now we're going to go over here. We're going to go to ADA, right? Okay, so watch this. Let's see what we got. Oh, no, not that one. Let's go. Boom, this one. Right? See, look, comes down and, yep, let's open this up. See, comes down. Look at that. Right, scoot over. 
All right, we got too much shit in the way right here. Okay, came down. Look, it came back up. This is the bounce, right? This is the candle. See, this candle didn't exist. This long red candle wasn't there. So this came down, bounced up, and then fell through. And let's take a look at my... Ah! Oh, no, let's bring that thing back. All right, let's take a look at my notes. Now I didn't have any damn notes on this thing. All right. Uh, here you can see the perfect example of the E failure wave and the wedge line DCB bounce then fail within one, two, three tries. Boom. Then, within, within. Perfect. All right. Uh, yeah, I, I have Raven. I also have uh, I have Raven and I have Scroll as my long-term holds. Those are the only two I'm holding on to. Uh, Ethereum, uh, same thing. Look, exactly the same. Oh, little... Maybe just a, a smidgen stronger, right? Remember, there's our E wave, right? There's our E wave. Okay. Let's go back over. Let's look at our Ethereum calls. There's our Ethereum. Let's pop this one in here. Okay. Let's see what we got. All right. Let's slide this over just a little bit more. Slide in here. All right, so there we go. We are said there's our E wave. Look at that. Oh, sometimes I just want to cry. Sometimes I just want to cry. You know, look at that. There's our call. There's our E wave. Look at that. Oh, uh, I just moved it. It was right there. I'll put it right back. I was so close. I was so close. Look at that. Came up, uh, died out. There's the E wave, and that was it. And came all the way back, tested the thing. Let's take a look at our notes. Perfect retracement, harder to count here. It is weaker than BTC, right? There it is up at the top, arrow down. If it would have broke through, it could have gone through. But then you, once, you, once you recognize that that was an E-wave, that puppy was just gone, right? Bye-bye. All right, so now, uh, so Ethereum, so our notes for Ethereum are uh, look... For this to test the wedge with the failure wave. All right, here we go. Uh, B can't break the base of A. Ah, oh, Satoshi Heavy in the house. What's going on, brother? How you doing? How are you? Look at this. The true. <laughs> we got a we got a famous person in the house. We got Heavy in the house. All right. So, Heavy, you just missed it. I just got done, man. You know what? One day you're going to join us for the show. One day. One day you're going to join us for the show. We'll see. And once again, so let's see where we're at. And let's bring our charts back to real life here. And see. All right. So, uh, still can't break this area. Until we break this area, that's it, right? You still have not broken this area. This area needs to get broken by the bears and or just nothing, right? Yeah, you're finding so much support right here. Listen, you've tested this support range one, two, three, four, five, six, now seven times this thing has been tested, right? It gets tested one more time. It's going through. It's going through hard. Love you, brother. Good to see you. All right, I think that's it for me. I think that's it for the show. I would like to say thank you all very much. Sorry this took so much time. I am done. Uh, please, 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 all I ever ask is just go over, help a brother out, 
right? Go over, give me that friendly follow. Go out and shout out every single trader that we save every single day is so damn important. Uh, listen, there's a few people that out there that you should be following. Satoshi Heavy's in the house, right? Satoshi Heavy right here. I love to follow his stuff. I like great, great, great content. Uh, I follow Burb. If you guys, I'm in Burb's group. I post in Burb's group. So if you go over into our Discord area, uh, if you go into Discord area, I'm actually in Burb's group. I do post in here. You can see some of my videos. So I here you go. I do post over in the Burb area. Uh, great group to be in. You guys get to see a bunch of my videos, uh, a bunch of my stuff that the members get to see. So please listen, bunch of great people out there. I recommend Burb. I recommend Heavy. Uh, great people. Go on, give them a follow. Uh, thank you so much for being here. I am the vamp. I am with Until One Mill for right now. I'm saying I am the motherfucking out, bitches.